Hey, Brian from Garage Mall. Today I have this waterproof autofocus camera, 4K digital. This is going to be great. We're actually going down to a Florida house soon, so we'll be able to get some great pictures underneath the pool. And uh, yeah, so let's see everything that we get inside. Like a, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so let's dump it all out. Whew, okay. So. You get a carrying bag, which is great. Anything that comes with a case, I absolutely love. A cleaning cloth, so after you pull it out of the pool, lake, ocean, wherever you're at, you can clean that off. This is your user manual. So there's a lot of stuff in here, so make sure you go through everything. Uh, you get two batteries, which is Looks awesome. Looks like you charge this in a camera itself. So let's get the camera out. So that is your camera. It has some protective film on the camera lens, so we'll take that off so we get a nice clear image. And yeah, pretty cool. So this is your battery compartment underneath it. So let's open that up. So you hold it and then you push it here. All right, so that's a little on a tough side, but it has a water seal to it. So then you take your battery and then you're going to line it up. So if you're looking from the top or the front, you can see it has the prongs there. You have the three prongs down here. So you push that down into place and then to a clicks. So you'll see this little button here on the side that will click into place. You have a spot for your uh, SD card. It looks like not included. So make sure you have one on hand before you go. And you can use your charging block or you can use a regular USB port to charge the battery and the camera. And you have a decent length of cord, which is great. Let's put this down in here. And then you have your, your little port right here and you charge, plug that in and then it will start charging for you. And you can tell you have a red light here, and my delusion is that red light will either go out or will turn green once it's fully charged. And we're going to hit the power switch on. So it says welcome. That's pretty neat. So, and that will give you basically your view of the camera. So you can take your pictures. So obviously it's not going to let me take any pictures because I don't have a card in installed. But you have a bunch of different features. So it's got a zoom on it. So you can zoom in really close. Kind of give you an idea from the, the top view, a little bit of an angle. So it's got a really cool zoom. In fact, you can use this in a war. It's going to be like really awesome. I know some of the newer phones are waterproof, but you know, I don't know. Uh, me, personally, I'm not going to bring my phone into a pool or the ocean. Camera? Yeah, absolutely. So, then it looks like it's got, it's got like a little flash here, camera lens, and it does look very solid and waterproof. And that's this cool little lanyard here on the side, so we can put that in. Even though this will get wet at some point, it will help you hang on to it. Usually what I like to do is make a little bit of a point, push these in, and then I kind of twist it back and forth, and that will usually help it get through to where it's got to go. There we got that fish through. So that is your little lanyard handle, which is really handy. So that way when you're underwater, you can keep your hand through that. So pretty cool. All right. Anyway, so let's go get an, uh, an SD card, hop on an airplane, go down to the uh, the Florida house, and we'll uh, we'll see you there. Emily from Graj Mahal at our vacation house here, and today Carter is going to be using the 4K underwater camera. So first, we're going to touch this button to turn it on for him, and we're going to let him use it in the pool. Go ahead, bud. Go take some photos. Uh. 
go swimming with the camera. It can get wet. You can put it in the water. <laughs> Let's try to a cool, cool trick about this camera is that it floats in the water. Can you let it go? Let it float? It floats in the water so it won't sink. So if the kids do let it go, it will float in the water, which I think is pretty cool and nifty.